What's good, wealth builders? It's the man, it's the myth, the wealth for themselves, the Vaughn put in work, work. And today we're talking about our nine tax benefits of real estate. Let's go. I pulled this information off of multiple sites online and if you want to check out the full blog the link is in the description but these are some great tax benefits when it comes to real estate I'm actually going to school to get my real estate license and I will be posting much more real estate content and property walkthroughs and all that good stuff okay we're going to pretty much document me going from a new real estate agent all the way to whatever a million dollar real estate agent, you know, like something like uh, Ryan Serhan or something. <laughs> nah, seriously though. But don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel because we talk about making more money, saving more money, building a better you and business. So anyway, let's get into the topic on hand, the nine tax benefits of real estate, right? So number one, depreciation. Okay, when it comes to real estate, this is a deduction of the value over time the irs actually gives you 27.5 years that's 27 and a half years to claim the depreciation on an investment property okay so basically it's like this say like if you purchase this chair for about a hundred something dollars i'm saying about a hundred dollars right this chair right there it's nice it's soft it's comfortable you know what i'm saying it leans back. I just actually purchased this share. Um, the link is in the description if you want to purchase one just like it. It's very nice, you know, if you want to check it out. Very clean, smooth. I like the color, different colors, you know, but anyhow, um, say like it's $100. Now, you put, you get to put that whole $100 on your tax refund for the next year, okay, you, or your, on your taxes for the next year, saying that this, this is one of the things that you purchase for your business, right? Now, with that being said, when it comes to property, you can't put the whole value of a property on your taxes, okay? You put the depreciation, okay? And it's the percentage is about 3.5%. Starts out in January. So you put the monthly amount on when you purchase it, okay? So basically, say if you purchased it in, let's say, September, and tax time is in, you know, the next year. So you get the you get the claim September, October, November, December. Okay, you don't get the claim the whole year. Now, what if you if you the next year you get the claim the whole year, the whole every month of depreciation on your property every month on your taxes next time you file your taxes for twenty seven years or so. Okay, that's pretty much how it works. If you want a detailed explanation of this, again, the link is in the description. All right. Number two, rental income. This is considered passive income by most, but not by the IRS, okay, when it comes to rental income. It's actually considered passive activity income. And before 2018, the only way to offset passive income was with passive losses. But when the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act was passed, it allowed businesses who earn qualified business income, that's QBI, which includes rental income to pass up to 20% of taxable income using a pass-through deduction. It's important to note that you can only take advantage of the pass-through de deduction if your business is profitable and not all income types qualify for this dedu deduction, which is currently available until 2025. All right, again, if you want a more better explanation of that portion, the link is in the description. All right, so that was number two. This is number three, appreciation. Okay, basically what this means over the long run, real estate has gone up in value about the same rate as inflation, three to four percent. Okay, that is appreciation. That is the percentage of appreciation for most real estate properties. The passive style, passive style of inflation helps, but active appreciation is even more profitable. Okay, active appreciation happens when you force the value higher over a shorter period of time, like with the house remodel. Okay, so basically, if you remodel the kitchen, remodel the bathrooms, change the change the windows, upgrade the windows, um, upgrade the the roof, the siding, things like that, structural changes, you can definitely get 
a faster appreciation for the um, value of the property. Okay, so next up we got number four, capital gains. I love gains. No, seriously, I, I love the workout, but anyhow. As of 2018, long-term capital gains tax rates are between 0% to 20%, depending upon your tax bracket. Of course, the shifting political climate can always change these rates, okay? But in general, capital gain taxes, tax rates are lower than ordinary income tax rates. Low capital gains rates are an advantage if you build your long-term investment strategy around strategically selling your real estate for growth or living expenses, right? So definitely something to, to look at. Okay, number five, living flips. Okay, I know a few people that have done this, okay? I always wanted to do this. I probably would have done it if I didn't have so many kids. But what if you want to avoid capital gain tax altogether? Then just buy and immediately move into the house as, you, as your principal residence. As long as you live in a home two out of the next five years in the U.S., you can make a tax-free profit of up to $250,000 as an individual or $500,000 $500, as a couple. Canada and the U.K. have slightly different rules, but the principle is the same. Okay, so that was number five. So we're at number six tax-free exchange okay another way to avoid capital gains tax and also depreciation capture tax is a section 1031 tax-free exchange this technique is named after the section 1031 of the u.s tax code a 1031 exchange allows you to trade one property for another without paying taxes i've never heard about this until i did my research okay but you must follow specific rules and you must be classified as an investor, not a dealer who flips houses. Why is this helpful? Because you get to use 100% of the profits from the sale to reinvest in the next property. This maximizes the growth and compounding of your investments. For example, let's say you sell a property for $300,000 without a 1031 exchange and pay $35,000 in capital gain and depreciation capture taxes. By avoiding these taxes, using a 1031 exchange, you will keep the $35,000 invested at 10% for the next 20 years, and that $35,000 would grow to over $235,000, if that makes sense, okay? But if you want more detailed information about this, definitely check out the blog in the link, all right, in the description. All right, so number seven, tax-free borrowing okay you can simply pull capital out of investment tax-free by refinancing that property okay this is a great way to build out your real estate investment without having to set up a new mortgage or you can take that money and reinvest in a whole different um uh type of investment maybe stock maybe be a angel investor in a company something like that this will help you grow your portfolio regardless of what you do with it as long as you invest the money Okay, now we got number eight, installment sales. Okay, like 1031 exchanges, installment sales are only available to property investors, and not to dealers, okay, aka house flippers. Also, like 1031 exchanges, installment sales allows an investor to defer capital gains tax. But unfortunately, the entire amount of accumulated depreciation must be captured at the initial time of sale. Okay, I know it sounds a lot, but you might want to check out the blog to get a more of a detailed view on this topic. Okay, number nine, self-directed IRAs. Okay, IRAs and 401k style retirement plans are incredible tools to build wealth while minimizing taxes. But most people think of them only as tools to invest in traditional investments like stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and REITs. A REIT is a real estate investment trust, okay? Well, this is ba basically a um, group of people or group of companies, 
pull together to invest in real estate. And while this is the norm, it's not the rule. Okay. The IRS does not describe what your IRA account can invest in. It only describes what you cannot invest in. The do not invest list includes life insurance, collectibles like artwork, drugs, and antiques. Okay. Non-traditional investments like real estate, private mortgages, limited partnerships, and tax liens are therefore allowed. You know what I'm saying? But most larger retirement accounts, custodians, i.e. Vanguard, Schwab, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, do not choose to offer them as a possibility. So you're going to have to Google IRA investments, different IRA investments outside the box IRA investments, IRA real estate investments, things like that. That's so you can find out where you can put your self-directed IRA income at. Okay, put it to work. Put your money to work. So there you have it, the nine tax benefits of real estate. Of course, there are more, but I figured I'd give you a few I like. Okay, and if you want to check it out in writing, then go to the description below and check out the blog. It's not my blog, but it's definitely a great blog, definitely a great website. So go ahead and check them out. All right. Now, with that being said, also support the Wealth Builders movement, man. Check out all the links in the description. I am everywhere. Okay, I'm on Clubhouse, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook. I'm everywhere you can think. I got my own website. I got everything you need to run with the Wealth Builders today. If you want to learn how to make $100 or more per day, we teach you that and show you that in the Wealth Builders system. If you want to check out the Wealth Builders newsletter, which is free, we drop a newsletter Monday through Friday. Check that. Also, the link is in the description. Also, the Wealth Builders blog, link in the description. Again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. It's the man, it's the myth, the wealth builder himself, signing off for the nine tax benefits of real estate. Do remember, wealth builders, make more, save more, build more. Peace. It's the wealth builders, baby.